look like the real thing. Caught for the touchdown. In the first matchup against Foles since Super Bowl 52. Brady and the Bucks, Foles and the Bears. Thursday Night Football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. Welcome back to Speak for Yourself. The Chiefs are a seven-point favorite against the Patriots, according to Fox Bet. Patrick Mahomes is coming off a five-touchdown performance, and Cam Newton had nothing but praise for him ahead of their matchup. Take a listen to Cam. He's changing the game. I, I think he's shined light on on the new wave of, of quarterbacks, and it's just it's just fun to watch. And not only that, you know, he has a lot of merit to to what he does it's not like he's just back there it's just an arcade game as sometimes it looks like it but he knows exactly what he's doing and how he's manipulating the defense and you know that's that's the same thing that the Dan Marinos used to do the obviously the Tom Brady's the Aaron Rodgers you know those guys really have so much command of the offense mm, the bar's back with us but Acho you expect Cam to hang with Patrick Mahomes after he leads the Blair Witch Project? <laughs> man, <laughs> no. <Nah>. Man, no. <laughs> it's, it's not a chance. It's not a chance. And oh, it's not oh. an indictment on Cam Newton, but okay. you're talking about Patrick Mahomes, who is, he's just on another level right now. Patrick Mahomes, only a second time in his career, five total touchdowns, more than 385 yards. That's what he did against the Ravens last week. Patrick Mahomes is in his, what we like to call bag, but I'll call it a suitcase because he in a whole lot more than just a little bag mm. right there. Um, think about this. Lamar Jackson referenced the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes at his crypt kryptonite. But if Cam Newton is Superman, then Patrick Mahomes is really about to be the kryptonite because there's this, it's an impossible to hang with what Pat Mahomes is doing right now. I'll leave you with a final really quick statistic. Cam Newton, he is a dual-threat quarterback. He can run. He can pass. Well, Cam Newton, total yards on average, 288. Patrick Mahomes, passing yards on average, 299. It's not even really a competition. I think Cam will try to throw a fight. He'll try to throw some punches, but eventually he's going to tire out and Mahomes going to keep rolling. Oh, man. Yes, he can hang with Patrick Mahomes. Go, Cam. Go get this. But there's no I in team, but there is a me in team. And this is not going to be an ego game. This is not going to be the Air Force goes out there. Who could throw the most touchdown passes? Because you're not going to keep up with Patrick Mahomes that way and win if you're the Patriots. No, we got to call the Army on this one. This is going to be the ground game, baby. Army fatigues out there. You got to think about how the Patriots have been able to beat the Kansas City Chiefs, neutralize the Chiefs. In comparison, we always show how the Ravens are struggling against them and how Lamar Jackson is 0-3 against Patrick Mahomes. Well, the Patriots in their last three, is they're 2-1 against them. You know why? Because they average over 170 yards in the run game, 176, 173. Two wins when they only averaged 94 that was a loss. So this is going to be a ground game performance, and they're going to need the mm -hmm. contributions of Cam Newton in the ground uh -huh. game. When you look at the stat sheet, it may not look like he kept up with Patrick Mahomes. Because Patrick Mahomes probably go out there and throw three, four touchdowns and have 300-plus air yards. But in terms of running the ball and taking mm -hmm. their ego from them, that's how the Patriots have to go out there and win this game. Yeah, I, I'm in total agreement with you, Marcellus. I, I, this is a T.O.P. game, right? Cam is going to have to be a top boy. Time <laughs> top of boy. possession, love right? Love so I think that the running game is, is definitely going to be imperative to them having an opportunity to win. Another quick point to think about going into this game. The Kansas City Chiefs are, if you look at them, the core, the DNA of what they are, they're counter punchers, all right? They don't really do too much in the first and third quarters of games. It's the second and the fourth quarter. They've never been outscored in any one of those two quarters. Why is that? I don't know, but it seems like they take that first quarter, they adapt, they adjust, then mm. they come out and they hurt you. Boom. They take that halftime, that third quarter, okay, you adjusted to us. What are you doing in the third yeah. quarter? They take that fourth quarter and they adapt and they adjust to you. Only one team has tied them in the fourth quarter. So this New England Patriots team is going to have to come out, hit them in the mouth early on the first and on the third quarters of these games, but they're going to have to control the game in the second and fourth quarter. If they can do that, they can win this game. And I think Cam Newton is the type of quarterback that can execute that as the leader uh, and the quarterback of the team. Marcellus, you told me there's no I in team, but there's a what? 
Me. There's a me. There's, a me. There's also an eating team, and Patrick Mahomes is going to eat. There's a Matten team, and Cam Newton's going to need that because he's going to be exhausted chasing Mahomes There's around. A meat there's team a mate in team, and Cam Newton doesn't have enough good teammates <laughs> to keep up with Pat Mahomes. And there's an ETA in team because Cam's going to be like, how long till I can get back home after this? Oh, good wow. Moment? wow. There's a whole ETA. lot of things in team, Marcel. Oh, we bet Cam this? Newton don't want none of them problems. Let's find Coming up, I'll find the Seahawks are still hot don't after the Cowboys' bet. Gator rolls. Dirty D.